It's time for a wellness revolution. Brought to you by Hotsi Health and Wellness Center. Honest discussion on maintaining health and wellness naturally to enjoy a better quality of life. He's the doctor fighting to let you keep your doctor. Now, Dr. Stephen Hotsi. Dr. Hotsi's Wellness Revolution podcast is brought to you by Physicians Preference Pharmacy, formerly Hotsi Pharmacy. Welcome to Dr. Hotsey's Wellness Revolution. I'm Stacey Banfield here with Dr. Stephen Hotsey, founder of the Hotsey Health and Wellness Center. So glad you're joining us today. And I just love success stories. They're just one of my favorite things to talk about. And we've got a great one on tap for you today. If you've ever felt hopeless, tired, fatigue, this woman had it all. And we just love stories of transformation. So Dr. Hotsey, take it away. Thank you so much, Stacey. And thank you for joining us. You know, I do believe that you and everybody needs to have a doctor and a staff of professionals who can coach them on a path of health and wellness naturally. So as you mature, you got energy, vitality, and enthusiasm for life. Wouldn't you like to feel that way? Well, you can. Um, and we have a simple program that helps us do that. And we're going to visit with a wonderful longtime guest of ours of 14 years, Lisa Barusa, who lives up in McKinney, Texas. And she just had, she came in back in 2006 and has had a dramatic change in her life that has carried her over the last 14 years. Lisa, welcome. Thank you so much. I'm so glad to be here. We're so glad to have you here because you do have a remarkable story. Now, Lisa, tell us about yourself and your family. How long have you all been up there in McKinney? We've been here for 22 years uh, in the same spot. Love McKinney. It's just a great place to live. Now, did you grow up in that area? Uh, No, sir. I grew up in South Texas down by Corpus Christi, Kingsville. I uh, met my husband at Texas A&M, and then we moved up here into up here to McKinney and have just been here for um, our adulthood. Now, listen, for all you Aggies out there, you're supposed to say it, whoop, 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 big em. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. Well, that's wonderful. Uh, so, Lisa, what led you to, in the first place, get in touch with us here at the Hotsey Health and Wellness Center? What had been going on in your life that precipitated you Traveling down from McKinney, surely you got doctors up in Dallas and McKinney and all that area. What? Well, t- that, tell me about that, what was going on with you and what your experience was with the conventional doctors you saw. Of course. Well, so um, pretty much my whole life, I hadn't hadn't felt well. Um, I couldn't explain it. I just um, just had that kind of that fog brain. Um, always felt like I had the flu, it, and it was so hard to explain to people because they thought you don't. Know, you don't have the flu, but that's why I felt every day. You felt um, that? What'd you feel? Achy and just tired? What, describe ache, what you um, meant. Achy, pain, um, just sick, and um, had insomnia, um, just everything you could think of to go wrong that couldn't be explained. So, you know, I, I never had a fever or an infection. It was just I didn't feel well. And I started noticing uh, I left home at about Uh, age 18 to go to college. And that's about when I started looking for, for answers. So believe it or not, I searched for 17 years, Um, went to doctor after doctor. um, And, and the thing that was so hard was um, that basically they would say to me, um, your, your blood work looks fine. You're within limits. Um, I know you don't feel well. And I just started getting bigger and bigger. I was really obese. And um, the only thing they could say to me was, um, have you thought about depression? Have you thought about maybe anxiety? And um, I was always aware that that happened, but I kept thinking there's something behind this. There's something that's wrong. So doctor after doctor after doctor, I don't know how many I went to, um, would just say, well, if you would get up more, if you would move more, if you would eat right and, you know, if you would think more about this depression thing. That had to be so discouraging. <laughs> it was. It was so hard because I knew that that wasn't who I was, um, that there was something else out there. And so I just, um, my husband and I would go to a doctor. As soon as they said something like that, we would thank them for their time and we would leave. And I remember that one of the doctors was saying, well, what do you want from me? And I just remember thinking, I just want to feel well. I'm so tired of being a spectator in my life. I'm so tired of being 
so tired. I mean, it got to the point where I was so ill that I listened to what the doctor said, and just, just get up, just move, just do things. And I started trying to do that and it would backfire because I would do that. And then I was bedridden for a week at a time because that's how horrible I felt. And I couldn't do anything. Um, it got so bad to the point where I was, um, oh, this, this part's hard. I would get my kids up, go to school. I was a stay at home mom, um, get them to school. And once they were at school, I'd take a nap. And then anytime I had to move around in the house, I would crawl. No one ever saw me do this because at this point I kept thinking, maybe there is something wrong with me mentally because why can't I walk around my own home? Um, so that's the point that I got to. Well, my mother-in-law had gone to a seminar where you were at, where you were speaking, Dr. Hoodsey, and she just had our conference and she happened to walk in um, she was listening to, uh, to what you were saying. And she said to herself, that sounds like my daughter-in-law. And so she came home with your book and, um, brought it to me and I started reading it and, and researching it. And I thought, wait a minute, these people sound like me and I couldn't believe it. And so that was the first time I started uh, getting an idea of, who's this guy in Houston and what's he doing and could he help me? So that's kind of how I first heard about it. And you read Hormones, Health and Happiness. And here's a copy of it, oh. folks. That's the book. That's my opus work. And that's the story about how you can regain your health naturally. So you have energy, you've got vitality, and you've got enthusiasm for life like Lisa has done. So you came in here to the Hotsey Health and Wellness Center back in 2006. By the way, I noticed you made a note. One of the doctors told you it might be all in your head. Yes, sir. That, How did that, that, was, one of, that was one of the hardest things because I, I do trust, I, did tr I do trust the medical profession, and I do want to get better. And I thought, well, I do need to make sure to look in inwardly. And I do need to make sure that I'm checking off that box. Um, so I made sure to go to counseling. I made sure that I was trying to take care of myself. And as I did that, I found out, no, that's not the answer. Um, did, they, did anybody put you on antidepressants or anti-anxiety medication? There was a, a doctor. There were they all had said that um there was one doctor that said if you want to get better and if you listen to me you will get on something and i said i hear what you're saying i understand what you're saying but i'm i'm going to go ahead and go to counseling and he said you won't go and you won't get better and so basically I, that was the last time i saw that doctor mm -hmm. so you decided to come down here to the Health and Wellness Center back in 2006. And tell me about your experience when you came in. What was it like? Well, it was fantastic. But first, I want to back up just for one second, sir. Okay. And say, whenever I, I wasn't sure that I was going to come to the clinic because I had, you know, for 17 years, I had got my hopes up and I thought, well, I'm not going. The, the, or not, not going, but I'd go in and then just be defeated. So I made a phone call to your uh, clinic and uh, the person, the lady that opened, that answered the phone, I don't know her name, but it was like she was an angel because when I called, I, I just laid it on the line and I said, here's all my symptoms. Here's who I am. And I'd rather know that you're gonna, you know, if you're gonna say I'm crazy or something, I'd rather know now on the phone, I can handle it. So I did, and I gave her everything, to, even to the point where I was crawling around the house. And she said, you sound exactly like the people that we care for. And she said, we'd love to have you as a client. And I couldn't believe that, because I've never heard that before. I never had been validated that I actually had true symptoms and I wasn't well. Um, 
and there wasn't a blame that it was my fault. And if I just did better. So that was my first um, uh, experience with the, the wellness center. And then you better believe I called and made that appointment or I talked to her that day. Then I got off the phone, talked to my husband and we made that appointment. Mm-hmm. I believe that day. Um, when I came in to see the doctor, um, it was like nothing I'd ever been to before because first of all, she listened. She wanted to know what was wrong. And then after that, not only that, she, um, she came and she looked at me and she touched my hands and she looked at my skin and she looked at my nails and, um, she was looking for signs that I wasn't healthy. And I can tell you, tell you and whoever's listening the day before I came to you was the last day I ever felt that bad because going forward I knew I had somebody in my corner (laughs) that's that's wonderful and that's what we love to do, we love to take individuals who have gone the conventional route, tried all kinds of therapies, all kinds of diagnostic procedures, and never got any help at all. And they're at the end of their rope. We see a lot of people who come in and say, you're my last hope. I don't have anywhere else to go. So, Lisa, when you came in, we started you on, you had classical features of hypothyroidism. Low yes, energy, sir. difficulty losing weight, weren't thinking clearly, had moods that weren't good, joint and muscle aches and pains. You had irregular periods too, didn't you? Heavier periods. Yes, sir. Everything. So your menstrual cycles were, were uh, out of whack, and that relates to the female hormones. Um, yes, did, did you have any allergy problems? Yes, sir. Allergy problems, adrenal fatigue, um, just... <laughs> I think I had everything. <laughs> so we got you started. Uh, that we, day. <laughs> yeah, we got you started. Did you do any allergy testing at that time? Uh, yes, sir. I yeah. did. And got the allergy drops. Right. Yes, sir. And so um, you really fell into our treatment program. We got you started on the Good Healthy Yeast Feeding Program. We replenished your hormones. Yes, uh, sir. Empirically, I mean, even before we... Uh, looked at blood tests because you had all the classical features of hypothyroidism. And I do believe that anybody who has the classical symptoms and features of hypothyroidism deserves a therapeutic trial, no matter what their blood tests say, because you want to make sure you're at an optimal level. I like to say it's like infusion. It's just like a company, a company that's having difficulties financially often goes to a private investor or a bank and asks for a capital infusion to get them back on their feet. Well, your clinical symptoms were you're alive, so we know you had some hormones and you're still <laughs> menstruating, so we know you did, but they weren't at an optimal level. They were in low levels of the range, and we want to get them at an optimal level of the range. So we, we, put, you on, we put you on a healthy eating lifestyle. That's the yeast for eating program. We got you on some natural thyroid hormone. We put you on some natural female hormone, particularly progesterone, that helped regulate your cycles. Right. And we put you on some cortisol that helped you with allergies because allergies stress the uh, adrenal gland, as does low thyroid and all that. Put you on some cortisol. We got you on some vitamin and mineral support. And yeah. um, so tell us uh, your progression. Now, you've been on the program 14 years. Tell us about your progression, how, how it was and when you started feeling well and how long it took you to really feel like you were doing really well. And, and by the way, how much weight did you lose over this time period? Um, let's see. I lost 70 pounds. 70 pounds. That's we don't incredible. even do, we don't, we don't even <laughs> That's do a great weight. achievement. We don't do weight loss, but we know <laughs> mm-hmm. if a person's low in thyroid, their metabolism is sluggish. And when they eat, they're going to convert it into fat and they're going to gain weight. No matter right. even if you eat well, you can't seem to lose weight. And so losing 70 pounds of body fat is an enormous accomplishment. I congratulate you on that because you, you took our recommendations. Listen, Lisa, when we saw you, we saw you as a coach would see an athlete. You're in the 
you were in the Health Olympics and were losing. You were way behind the pack. I mean, you might I was, not. We were even last place, sir. Yeah, I was last. Did, did last. weren't even going to get around and, and make the finish the race. I was in the I was in the crowd. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't even at the start line. Oh my gosh! But we um, but we wanted to get you a gold medal. And you wanted a gold medal. You wanted to get back and be vibrant. You wanted energy back in your life. And that's what the thyroid hormones do. That's what the female hormones do and the cortisol. They help you generate energy within your cells in the power plants called mitochondria. So instead of being a low-voltage mm-hmm. individual, you became a high-voltage individual brimming with energy. Full, Let me tell you. So of life. It, did, it did take um, – it took me about – I would say from the start, when I first started, um, it took me a a while to kind of start feeling better on a consistent basis. So, uh, which I think is normal because we were just trying to figure out what is my dosage, trying to be healthy, trying to lose the weight. Um, So the first three years, that's where I kind of lost all all the weight. So I want people to know, you see me now, um, and I'm doing quite a bit. It has been quite a journey, but well worth the journey. Um, so about three years, and then it took another four years for me to build up my strength and energy to where my level, what I wanted. Because Dr. Hotsey, after that seventh year, I walked in to CrossFit and I started working out and that that technic- that is another part of me that I thought I am I am competitive. I do want to I do want to participate in my life. I don't want to be the spectator anymore. So at that seventh year I started. So now it's been seven years since I've uh, been crossfitting. And this May I just turned fifty, and I'm I'm so thrilled at where I'm at at the age of fifty. Um, I CrossFit five to eight times a week. Wow. Yeah. I just started doing, um, Brazilian jiu-jitsu three times a week. Oh my goodness. And so for people that don't know, that's kind of a martial arts wrestling type, um, thing. Um, and so here's really the cool part. So, um, I have a, now, you know, before I was a spectator of my life, I didn't do anything. Now I have a full-time job, mother, wife, um, work out all the time. And one of the things that we do in our, in our household is every year we ask, what fantastic thing are you going to accomplish this year for your birthday? So I chose that I was going to pick these, some people say crazy, crazy challenges. Um, and I was going to do five of them over the course of the year. Uh, so I have some buddies that uh, work at the police department with me that are on the SWAT team that are as crazy as I am. <laughs> and uh, so I've already accomplished three different um, workouts, crazy workouts. All of them consist of a thousand reps. So um, a thousand rep step ups, weighted step ups, a thousand burpees, a thousand calorie row. But the one I want to tell you about was the thousand uh, rep thousand burpee rep. So I asked uh, one of my buddies, a SWAT team, if he wanted to do that with me. And um, reluctantly, he said yes. <laughs> reluctantly. <laughs> reluctantly. He's, he's thinking I'm crazy, but luckily he is too. <laughs> so um, it's fantastic because we accomplished it. It took us a little more, more a little over two hours to accomplish um, nonstop. And so the whole thing that's really cool is that here I am, a 50-year-old lady, woman, and I asked a 35-year-old SWAT guy <laughs> if he would do this with me. And and he doesn't mind me saying, but I beat him. <laughs> oh, I beat him. I love that. Um, and so um, now, subsequently, he's beaten me in other things, of course, but this was the one that I can kind of hang on to. Um, but without without walking in the door, without believing that there was another way to heal somebody out there to help me. I could not imagine doing this right now Mm -hmm. and being this healthy and this strong, um, in life. 
it's just, it's, it's changed everything. And I'm so thankful. And I, I really hope people listening realize it doesn't happen overnight, but I believed if I did my part, then I knew you were going to do your part at the clinic that, um, the doctor said that I will be with you until all your symptoms are resolved. That's, that's amazing. And it has happened. It didn't happen overnight. And then also you need to, I realized too, is that my body changes as I'm getting older. So I might have to tweak something. Right. There's, it's not, and it's not a, a one case fits all. Um, so I just hope that anybody that's listening knows um, if you do your part, Hosey Clinic will do their part and you meet at the middle and crazy things can happen. Crazy, fantastic. Like things. a thousand burpees. <laughs> yes. <laughs> now I want you yes. to, I want you to explain to our listening audience what the burpee is. Um, I guess the best way to do it, to explain it is you would do a push up. Then you would get to your, to your, uh, get to your feet and then you do a jump and then you come back down and you do that a thousand times. It's pretty intense. Now, (laughs) is there, do you do it right in a row? Do you take a break or do you just do it all at one, one time? All at one time. So it took two hours and eight minutes for me to complete 1000. Um, and so we just, we just went and did it as, um, as fast as we could. And, um, there was a couple times where I was laying on the ground, just kind of trying to catch my breath and then just jumping right back up because I thought, why not? And when I figured the reason I pick a thousand is, um, 500 is hard, 500 of anything's hard, but a thousand is a true challenge because when you get to 500, you have to realize I'm only halfway done. Mm. <laughs> that is a remarkable story. Now here, listeners, this young woman, Lisa, was 70 pounds overweight, crawling along, along the ground at her home when nobody was at home because she couldn't even stand up, being told by her doctors that all she needed to do was exercise more and eat better and she's going to feel well. Or get on an antidepressant because you're depressed. Or, right. lady, it's all in your head. And she kept she knew something was wrong. She knew it wasn't that simple. She knew that her problems, she had an underlying cause for all her symptoms. And about how many doctors did you see, do you think, over those 17 years? I would probably venture to say 13 or 14 because I never stopped. And I would just go to somebody else. And whenever my, when I felt my lowest in kind of that bedridden condition, my husband would say, go now. Go have them draw blood now because you don't feel well. And so I did that so many times. And then towards towards the end, whenever I was getting closer to coming to see you, because I came to see you when I was 36 years old, um, I kind of just lost hope. And so I would do that every once in a while. But, I, you know, at first I was just like, I'm going to find this. I know it's something. And um, so I would... I would venture to say it was a lot of doctors. We have a lot of doctors here in this Dallas Fort Worth area. <laughs> well, listen, Lisa, what is really remarkable is that you had the purse capacity, the 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 commitment, the uh, diligence to keep pressing ahead, trying to find an answer. You were taking charge of your health and you weren't letting some doctor take charge of your health because they can't do it. The only person, folks, that's responsible for your health is you, not your spouse, not your doctor, not the insurance company, surely not the government. None of those people are responsible for you. None will take good as good care of you or as bad care of you as you will yourself. So this is a remarkable success story. And Lisa, I want to congratulate you for taking charge of your health and getting yourself on a path of health and wellness. We simply made recommendations. Jill, we're here to help you and encourage you, hold you accountable But ultimately, all the weight of an athlete falls upon the athlete's shoulders. All the coaches in the world can tell you what you need to do, how you need to practice, what you need to do to compete. But ultimately, the athlete has to decide to do that, and you did. You're the health athlete, and my Mm -hmm. dear, 
I award you a gold medal. Congratulations. <laughs> I'll, take it. I'll take it. Thank you. And I'm so happy not to be just a spectator in my life anymore. You're an athlete on the field, no longer a spectator. Well said. Lisa, <laughs> thank you so much for joining us today. It's a remarkable story. It bolsters my spirit and gives me encouragement. I love to hear these stories because I love doing what we're doing. We love to help people get their lives back. And that's what you've done. And your husband got his wife back, even a better one than he took to begin (laughs) with. Think of that. I know. He's a blessed man. Well, God bless you. And thank you for joining us today, Lisa. Thank you so much, Dr. Hudson. It's such a great, great story of transformation. And for those of you out there who want to feel that hope as well, you know, you can give us a call 281-698-8698. We'd be more than happy to send you that book that Lisa read, Dr. Hudson's first book, Hormones, Health and Happiness. As a matter of fact, if you'll simply call that number, 281-698-8698, tell him you heard us on the podcast and you'd like a copy of the book, we will send you that book free of charge mm-hmm. with no with no shipping. We'll send it to you. And I want you to have it because I want you to understand how you can take charge of your health and get on a path of health and wellness so you too can get your life back. Absolutely. We want to be able to help you the way that we helped Elisa. We're in the transformation business. So thank you for joining us today here at Dr. Hotsey's Wellness Revolution. A special thanks to Physicians Preference Pharmacy, formerly Hotsey Pharmacy, proud sponsor of Dr. Hotsey's Wellness Revolution podcast. Information provided on this radio program is neither intended nor implied to be a substitute for professional medical advice and is not intended to replace the services of a physician, nor does it constitute a doctor-patient relationship. You should not use information from this radio program to diagnose or treat a health problem or disease without consulting with a qualified health care provider. If you have or suspect you have an urgent medical problem, promptly contact a professional health care provider or call 911. Dr. Hotze's Wellness Revolution radio program advises you to always seek the advice of a physician or other qualified health provider prior to starting any new treatment or with any questions you may have regarding a medical condition. Any application of the recommendations from this radio program is at the listener's discretion.